And just being able to sweep them into that tower, I think they, they just, the heavy spin was way too close to home for Nightmare Esports and they took advantage of that. Yeah, and the turtle being farmed, the, the second skill of uh, comes of Novaria, but not resulted anything and the retribution is there, securing the turtle for Nightmare Esports. Yeah, definitely. I, the tide's a little changing, leading towards the side of Nightmare Esports. They've definitely, uh, I, I think that one engage in the middle has kind of gave them a little bit of a boost. We see a little bit of an engage here in the top tower. It was a good clear. I love how Troublemaker was able to utilize uh, just his easy clear, right? He cleared that lane, kept it a bit at bay, but Castle gonna have a trouble here against 2-1 in the top. Yeah, but uh, RCC need to make work of this Divine Judgment and Heavy Spin as mm -hmm. frequently as possible because now they kind of don't kill anyone. I mean, okay, there's a try. Basic attacks not hitting the uh, Barats here might be a problem for, for the RCC surviving on a 1000 HP going out because of Bruno and uh, didn't result anything because Bruno was out attacking the wave instead of following the Barats. Ooh, and I mean, one shot is doing a lot of damage. We do see the Retri coming out on the Lily, but is there going to be a follow-up by anybody else on his team? He's really doing everything by himself at this point. RCC is going to have to... I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's a miscommunication on the team, but I think some proper call-outs need to be given. Nightmare Esports definitely taking advantage of those mistakes that, they're, that RCC is bringing to this uh, Land of the Dawn. Yeah, but on the other hand, we didn't saw like uh, good ultimates from Minotaur uh, yet. And uh, but mm -hmm. Lilia is such a big factor if if, if uh, Susol can play on the Lilia on expert level, he might carry the game on his own because kind of it's good setup for him. True, true. We do see four rotating into the mid. We're gonna see a play here. One shot, trying to look for an advantage to take. First Totoro's up. I wonder who's gonna initiate the engage. We see a conceal play on a soul soul. Trying to get a little bit of an vision here. I'm not quite sure what they were gonna attempt. They're kind of just keeping them at bay right now, War Barbie. Who is gonna take this turtle? Heavy Span comes out on a JV. Is it gonna be anything as... Looks like, no, it's not. One shot, not so able to secure a kill because of his team. On no one's following up. And the Divine Judgment comes on Barats, kind of wasted, and but the castle is going up, up to, from the top lane and the, doing all the damage needed to finish up the Barats kill, but the top tower is being sacrificed for that. Uh, the turtle kill for or, or the top tower, what do you think what is better? I mean, losing a tower is rough, but it equals out the playing field at this point. We do see a little bit of an uh, invade happening here. RCC being aggressive against Nightmare Esports. We can kind of see that one shots, one shots doing good. I like the aggression. I like the, the tenacity he's bringing here, but I, I need to see a little bit more of a follow up from the side of RCC. Paquito doing a good job as well. You know, they traded the top tower and I mean the turtle, so we'll see. Kind of taking a look at some of these items though, War Bobby. Yeah, the items are pretty standard, I would say. Like last game, Manator, we saw the Flask of the Oasis being built with first item, which kind of surprised me. Like, you know, instead of uh, 
uh, instead of uh, tanky items and now Minotaur goes for like this, <laughs> I, I call this a pieces build because uh, he don't <laughs> build any, <laughs> any uh, solid item yet and I'm not sure it's a good idea though to build like that. True, but true. We'll I mean, we don't see a flask of Oasis just yet. I mean, he's going to need that for the sustainability. I think when it, we're approaching the mid game, and I think that's kind of where that uh, that come into play is that he'll have all these pieces and then he'll be able to put them together, right? And that it, it, I think it'll stack up good for Nightmare Esports. But I got to give it up to RCC. Their, their economic lead, they've been keeping it. They've been applying that pressure and just taking as much as they can from Nightmare Esports. Yeah, but no actual pressure on the objective here. Like here and there, somebody takes some towers and the invade on a blue buff, but the Lord is being farmed on the top lane. Might be a mistake by one shot, but uh, uh, trying to get to the Lord as soon as possible uh, in here, be able to Bruno ultimate going in. Divine Judgment Ooh. into the Lilia and makes a good kill and didn't quite read that and didn't quite managed to dodge with her ultimate armor jumping in ultimate four people pretty good stun on top of that running around healing up barely surviving and uh, uh, finally being picked up by the bruno and uh, seems like nightmare don't have like damage on the uh, rcc oh but they're gonna keep going as k hammy falls there as well that, I mean, that was, I, I feel like, well executed by RCC at this point. They they zoned out, got a pick on to the Lord fight, and then took down four of Nightmare. We can kind of see a little bit of a replay here. The heavy spin came out. The Daytona was welcome to intercept that, but it wasn't enough as Wiser was able to, you know, utilize that left flank, put a lot of pressure onto Nightmare Esports, and they just didn't have enough CC or stun. Wiser being aggressive here. I want to... Come back to what you were saying, Unnecessary aggression, huh? Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. it, they have the lead. I like it. I mean, he's showing that he he's a formidable foe, but we need to see <laughs> something from uh, Benz here on this, uh, on this minnow, right? Yeah, mid lane is being farmed and not quite enough because of the... I guess wider he should be on the mid lane instead of the bot lane, but the uh, Lord is going on under uh, oh my. the heavy spin ins, counters by the Minotaur's rage, and uh, not quite enough to defend the turret. Yeah, not enough. Able to breach into Nightmare Esports' base, and they're looking to take a little bit more, be it a pick or be it another tower. It does look like they're going to back out. Now, I, I like this. I mean, we've seen this from a lot of the bigger teams into the, the, the first series is that they'll actively back out. Won't be too greedy on a Lord take like this. As they've seen, they've already taken a lot. I mean, they've cleared a lot of... They cleared all of the first and second tier towers and they breached into the base. It's now their time to clear the jungle. I do think teams need to focus on you know not losing it and we can see rcc is keeping control of the upper jungle not allowing nightmare esports to breathe and you know leave the base yeah that's true but on the other hand i feel like nightmare esports are not doing enough to kind of counter that it it feels for me that uh, yes rcc pressuring but nightmare could kind of counter it but they not going for it they not uh, they like backing up all the time they not trying to make some uh, smart uh, counter attacks instead they just letting uh, them go and uh, go going back yeah yeah i can see where you're coming from they're they're just not setting up a plan or engaging mm -hmm. on something we can kind of see that they're, they want to do something on the left side and you see the tps coming out by castle the a little bit of a maybe a, a fake to bring them out a little bit of a mind <laughs> game going on by castle again i i feel like what you were saying nightmare esports has to come together take a strategic approach at doing something in this game yeah that that's true and that's I, I I can feel like Minotaur is, I, I mean, he don't want to ult because he is thinking that Kaja gonna interrupt his ult, so mm -hmm. he kind of playing passive at this point because of that. 
Wow, there's a lot of numbers popped out out of Navaria <laughs> here. That's a big crit, I guess, on the three people. And uh, Ooh, Divine Judgment the divine comes into judgment. Barrage, right in front. One, one shot in two tanks. Like, yeah, that's a, that's a farm. Like, 10k gold advantage, almost 9k. And uh, probably gonna go straight for the crystal at this point when you can one shot tanks like let's let's see this like half HP like bursted down and the Minotaur is obliterated. Yeah, it's it's just it's a tough game right now for Nightmare Esports. They're gonna have to turtle up and mount up a great defense. Lord did fall into the hands of RCC and they're looking to take even more. Castle diving deep back into the back line, taking uh, one from the side of nightmare they're gonna have to hold and mount up a great defense here war barbie yeah i mean uh, they trying to kill wow nice second skill on the barats on the heavy spin to finish off the uh, panda here chubby panda not fat and uh <laughs> but this still attack is uh, still going on uh, bruno working on that minus judgment. divine judgment right in, in on on the face of lilia here and the just basic attack basic attack basic attack uh, bruno is uh, trying to get something like basically basic attack <laughs> whatever he can minions heroes crystals like yeah it's it's his diet 100 percent. i mean that was a great execution Good take. I loved it. The turtle is still ongoing. Both teams did lose their jungles. We see Castle coming in. Oh, the <laughs> Tyrant's Rage comes out. One shot able to secure the Retri under the turtle, though, as well as take down one of Nightmare. The shadow boxing here from the Hoopra. <laughs> I guess he was seeing the enemies there, and uh, wow whatever that you know like the oh main my. thing after this kind of uh, skill usage is to not get frustrated just keep playing like you know what can i yeah, say penalty zone utilized here Those up like that kai might be in trouble one nah, shot forced to you forced to use heavy spin to kind of purify from the universe ult to run away and that's exactly what he did and uh, go straight to the red buff I like that both Castle and uh, Jay right here are just, they're, they're battling it out. They're, they're not even in lane. They're just over here battling out, kind of taking a look at some of the items. Wouldn't say there's anything that I particularly see out of the ordinary. Guinevere picking up a little bit of physical defense, so is Terizla. Uh, so, and Uranus. So a lot of physical defense being picked up by all sides. Bruno picking up the Hall's Claws early. We do see a little bit of a play happening here. Koopy. Goopy low. Hmm. Nightmare. They're just struggling a little bit here, War Barbie. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's almost 3k gold advantage, and uh, it seems like scenario of the last game. Two people being uh, knocked up, and uh, the ultimate right on top of it, but uh, it resulted anything. Trying to pressure Ixia here, which uh, actually counter attacks and could take one kill. And the second kill is going on from the mid lane rotation. It's gonna result the turret, but uh, so so is gonna try to snipe someone, snipe his own turret probably, and uh, invade on the blue buff. Yeah, RCC are all over the place now. Yeah, they're 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 definitely controlling a lot of this match. It's kind of almost like a chessboard for RCC. They they have pressure and presence and. Both lanes, given that vision, you can already see they're zoning for the turtle here. Terizla keeping the Kufra at bay. Don't allow him in the penalty zone. Able to secure that there. Able to take out Jay. Ah, that was a rough play for Kufra. He was showing he was trying to get the presence and the vision, but nothing really executed there besides a death. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it feels like uh, RCC are toying with them right now. I mean, they could push like straight away, like bot mid top prioritize the turrets. Like they have the advantage on the mm, tempo here, and uh, they are so scared to make mistake and not trying to do anything. Like I don't know the rotation to defend four people going for the mid lane. 
not being farmed. Counter attack and the dodge with his own ultimate on top of Farmy's ultimate. Wow, the blunder here, but the, the flicker oh. ultimate to extend for to take take one kill, uh, potentially three kills, but uh, not no no crits, I guess, and uh, resulted to two, only one kill. Yeah, that was a one for one on both sides, but I. Th I'm RCC definitely coming out on top, being able to take out that mid turret. Uh, we did see a little bit of an engage down in the bottom lane there by Castle. I think they're gonna opt to go down there and secure that turret as well. We gotta get off, give it up to Wiser. That position with the flicker and that assault barrage coming in was just too much for Nightmare Esports. Ah, yeah, soon it's going to like melt them down because of the farm uh, he going to get. Because he like he ult and it's one shot on Novaria, I guess, and and the Bruno as well. Yeah, he, he he definitely it was the patience behind Wiser. Just he he waited. Most of them were low. They thought they could escape, and then just paired with that flicker was enough to to. I mean, it still it wasn't too many didn't fall from Nightmare, but it was enough for RCC to take advantage. We do see a Divine Requiem coming in there. Nothing too much out of it besides pressure. We do see a one-to-one -one turtle possible okay, take. Trying to steal the turtle, I guess. Do not let <laughs> Lord spawn eight minutes because RCC gonna take the Lord eight minutes and uh, Paquito here zoned out the Akai and the Lord is going to get spawned and uh, potentially going into the favor of uh, RCC because of like 6k gold advantage already just on the rotations and uh, Seems like Nightmare need a miracle here. Yeah, it seems like one shot has a, a, a decent amount of knowledge on being able to keep that at bay. We do see a little bit of an engage here. Assault comes out. Why is there able to secure the kill under the Kufra? Heavy spin trying to escape, but Castle not going to allow that. As one shot was able to take the Lord to fall for Nightmare. RCC coming out on top. Yeah, but one sneaky turret on the bot lane from the Bruno in exchange on the Lord and Hufra. Like, it's at least something for the Nightmare Esports. Yeah, I, again, they, they got to take it where they can. Ooh, little, again, little poke and peel here by one shot. I love that. That's what the Gwyn can really excel at. And uh, they're going to bring it here. I think they're going to utilize this lore to clear up all of the, the tier 2 towers that are left standing for Nightmare Esports. And then my guess is RCC wants to, to crack into Nightmare Esports base. The Lord is marching on top lane. And the mid lane is being farmed with the Mega Minions already. And the third tower passive gonna proc probably yes passive is being farmed as well and the attack is probably going to kufra actually using his first skill straight into the uh, kufi's face and didn't result anything didn't uh, de decide to attack and they are kind of backing up now and giving the turret and the uh, passive is proc but not affected uh. by the law almost getting one shot bruno two percent hp going into the fountain to region half hp turret is uh, there nobody farmed mid wave and uh, it seems like nightmare esports are overwhelmed just by minions yeah overwhelmed and just trying to take something i've seen a conceal play be utilized nothing really out of it i think they Ooh. they just popped it a little bit too early like the novarius damage but they might mm -hmm. collapse on her no one wanted to commit a flicker there in a, on an engage and i see this quite often right is that if you get too greedy on lord pushes it can definitely be a tide turner for the other team nightmare could have took advantage of that mistake but rcc i like it they they backed up they didn't they didn't become too greedy mm, and i don't quite like that it felt like the rcc not like obviously they don't want to go on the cc of akai and the uh, hufra i get it but yeah. on the other hand you have almost 10k gold advantage you have the lord i mean you want to get the turrets true true i think that's a that's a wonderful take right uh, i mean 
I can see it. The kind of playing passive sometimes can lead into nightmare, maybe taking an advantage of a mistake mm -hmm. that RCC could uh, do. And that, that's the one thing you want to do is the faster you can end a game, the less likely you're going to be me making any mistakes. They do look like they are zoning properly for this Lord. You can kind of see Castle pushing that left side in. And they're not waiting for the 12 minute mark, the, which makes it uh, level 2 Lord. And uh, he's mm -hmm. not going to be casting to the turrets if they farm it right now. Yeah, I think right now, since again, I think they have the positioning advantage instead of taking the enhanced Lord, uh, they're just going to take the Lord. Heavy spin in. They attempted to try to get some type of play. Conceal play is made, though. RCC wants this. Castle coming in, able to take out Kami. They want more. The Divine Requiem comes in. The last assault coming in compared with a Flicker Wiser. Ah, trying to take more the... from the side of Nightmare Esports to fall. The emblems or the glowing one that did finish the last kill, like on the burn, which was the Hoopa. Yeah. And uh, now they're gonna pressure mid lane, I guess. And the first kill trying to drag in the Uranus, who's we're not quite seeing the game. He's just running around. Have actually two kills, zero deaths. It's 100% kills for the Nightmare Esports. And Dakai is being killed as well because of his ultimate was on uh, cooldown, I guess. While he didn't purify from the Guinevere ult, but uh, it seems so bad for Nightmare Esports and good. And the penalty zone with the flicker finish of the Novaria here resulted the crystal explosion here. RCC 2-0. Yeah, I, again, RCC able to take this game home as well. A 2-0.